Hi, my name is Peter Kirlewski and I, uh, uh, I want to show you today a simple file-to-file pass-through-receive pipeline application. Pass-through uh, pipeline is one of the default pipelines in um, shipped with um, the BSTOK 2010-2013 version. And um, essentially we are going to go uh, with the process which is really, really fast. It's a very simple application. All you need, there are no orchestrations involved. All you need, all, all you need is two um, folders. One receive folder and another folder which is going to be a send folder, SNDX folder. And then we can create our application. We start the BSTOK administration console and then let's go to the applications and let's create a new application and let's call it application X. Uh, apply and OK. And then within this application we need a receive port. Uh, so let's create an, a one-way simple receive port. Let's call it receive port X to correspond with other application name. No authentication at the moment. Apply and OK. And we need uh, also a uh, receive location connected to that receive port. So. Um, Let's name the receive location receive location X, and the type is going to be file. That's because we are going to process files, and the BSTOK server application is going to be the handler and pass through receive pipeline is going to be our pi pipeline. Um, this is a strange sort of pipeline which doesn't contain any pi pipeline components, so it does nothing except for grabbing monitoring certain uh, certain location and uh, processing those files or messages if you like and putting them in the message box in the database um, so this aha uh -huh. we have to configure and we want to uh, be able to process all the files and the receive folder is going to be formerly created regx folder and now it's gonna work um, we need a send port static one-way send port send port x and type of course it's going to be file bstock server application and pass through transmit and we need to configure that and the folder is going to be uh, that's wrong. The folder is going to be SNDX and we don't want to change that name into XM, that file name into XML. Instead, we want the message ID uh, that's useful for tracking, but also source file name. So we want uh, we want the file uh, that we received in the uh, rec X uh, folder mm, to retain its original name, except that we want uh, in that name also the message ID. So that's all what is going to be done with that message. Copy mode, I would change it to overwrite just in case um, any duplicates happen. We don't want duplicates. And apply and apply. And let's start that. And let's uh, enable the location, the receive location. And I think we are done. So now, if we drop anything, anything, any file in that receiving folder, so let's grab some kind of a file, uh, let's say resurrection. Okay, if I drop it here, it should appear with uh, changed name with added IE message ID in the SNDX box. Yeah.
and it didn't for <coughs> whatever reason. Not yet. Um, let's try to figure out why. File on receive location, receive location, X with URI. Ah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, one more thing that we have to do with the send port is, you see now there is a file which is going to be processed by the um, uh, uh, receive port. It's going to be processed and placed into a message box database, but there are no subscribers. So essentially the send port exists, but it doesn't subscribe to anything. Uh, doesn't subscribe to any messages and subscriptions in uh, BStock are based on filters. So I need to find a BTS uh, receive port name here. Receive port name. And I think it was receive uh, port X. So that send port is going to now sub be subscribed to uh, any messages from receive port X. Apply and OK. And unfortunately, we've lost that previous message. But now it's going to work. Right? So the message was processed by the system and exactly in the way we wanted. So it retains the source file name, but what is what is added to that name is the message ID. Uh, nothing got changed otherwise with that message, with that file. That the file is intact except for the name to which the message ID has been added. So that's it. A simple file-to-file -file, um, BStock application using pass-through receive pipeline.